Welcome to Ohm Times TV, a division of Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting. Welcome to Adventures in Consciousness, the interactive show that offers expansive conversation with pioneering new thought teachers and personal real-time guided journeys into the imaginal realm to access your soul's wisdom and discover how to live your greater story. Here is your host, human potentialist, soul mentor, and consciousness guide, Jennifer Ivanko. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation. Uh, today, like we do on our second episode each month, we're going to have a conversation with ourselves. Actually, um, the topic this month was inner personalities. And it's a fascinating topic when you consider um, inner personalities not as a uh, disorder, like a multiple personality disorder, but instead it's a resource from the level of uh, human potential. We look at these different resources we have within us and how we can practically use them in our world outside and what we're doing and our challenges. And um, you may notice you often choose one way to solve a problem and you might have some resources or personalities within you that might have a different perspective or might have a different way to solve your, your situation, giving you new results and new experiences. So today, um, I want to give you a couple of uh, exercises, practices. The first one, we're going to actually look at um, our inner personas. I'm going to have you um, writing some things down. So you're going to need some paper and pen or a journal. So take a few moments while I'm talking here to gather that. Um, but what we're going to do is, is look at these different personalities that we have inside of us. For example, you might notice there's this conversation going on inside of your head where you are doing something or looking at something, loving something. And at the same time, there's a different opinion about whatever that is you are doing. Or another example is if you are go to a restaurant and you absolutely love the restaurant when you're there, you just think it's the best food, the, everything about it you love. And so you decide to go back again the next day or a few days later and you go back and you don't understand why you liked it in the first place. It just isn't the same experience at all. So have you considered that these are different personalities coming to the forefront? Um, we have to, these different personalities actually uh, drive the, the bus, we say. So in other words, you might at some time have this wonderful chef that is one of your personas and is a great cook, loves to be in the kitchen and enjoys every moment. So when that persona is driving the bus, it's perfect when you have to cook dinner or have, have to cook a meal. But if that persona is driving the bus when it's time for you to get up on stage and speak to a group, it might be a disaster. Whereas you might have another persona, personality that is a great speaker. And when we get to know our personalities, when we start researching ourselves and looking how we feel at different times of the day and, and how we walk and look and the colors we like, the things we like to do, we can start um, inviting the right personality to come out at the right time. It's, it's, um, it's actually a research that you can do for yourself. So we wanna to play today a little bit and look at um, the personalities first, what kind of personalities we have. So I'm going to play this first uh, exercise for you and then we'll have a little bit to talk before we begin the second one. So let's go ahead with the inner personalities. So I'd like to share with you now an exercise, an exercise in which we will connect with some of those personalities, those inner personas, and tap into some of the rich perspectives and wisdoms we have deep within us that we can apply to challenges and projects we are working on now. You know, we often approach our challenges or our projects in the same way with the same solutions and run into the same obstacles 
over and over. It's important to know when you change your perspective, you can change your reality. So first let's identify some of the personas that we can play with. I invite you now to take out a piece of paper and write down some of the personas that you have within you. For example, we all have that inner child. And there's maybe a parent or a teacher, a dancer or a singer lover of nature, practical joker. Write with abandon any of these personalities, these personas that come to mind that are you. Now look at your list and choose two of the personas, any two that you would like to work with now. Now let's take a moment and consider a project or a challenge that you are facing right now, something in your life that you would like a fresh perspective on, a way to find new solutions and to move through it. Take a moment now to write down what the project is or the challenge is that you would like to work with. Could be financial, could be work related, relationship, or something you want to change in your life, some habit, whatever it is. Very nice. Now, let's close our eyes and begin to bring your awareness to your breath. As you breathe in and out. Not changing your breath, just observing how you're breathing. Often when we're in our minds, in our busy days, our breath is very shallow. I invite you to deepen your breath just a little now, noticing your chest rise and fall with each breath. Now, we're going to deepen into long, slow belly breaths in through the nose, hold, out through the mouth, hold, and continue like this.
each breath in, imagine breathing in a sky blue color, a sky blue energy. Filling your body with this prana, this life force. Each breath out, imagine breathing out tension and stress, as if you're breathing out the color gray. Each breath in, a gentle wave of this blue energy. And each breath out, going a little deeper into that stillness and peace. This deep prana breathing that nourishes your body and quiets your mind. And each breath out is so relaxing. Bringing you deeper and deeper into the relaxation. Now take a deep breath in and release, allowing yourself to slip into a gentle resting rhythm. As you listen to my voice, being deeply relaxed, listen just upon what I say to you, very fully aware of the words and aware of what you experience when the words are spoken. I invite you now to consider for just a moment the beautiful soul question. Who am I? Who am I really? Observing any answers that may come as you ask again, Who am I? Take a deep breath in and release, releasing the question and any answers that may have come, allowing the universe to work out the details. I invite you to imagine there in front of you the image of a child that is you. Notice that this child is smiling. Looks like he or she has been playing a game. I'd like you to really look at this child to imagine. How does he or she look? the face, the eyes, the posture, the smile on the face, the playful nature of this child. And as you gaze at the child, you look down and notice that your body is changing, shifting, 
in becoming more like that child now. I invite you now to as vividly as you can imagine the sensations of being in that body, of being that child. Maybe move around a little, or even better, gently stand up and walk around as a child. You can even open your eyes and look around as if you're looking through the eyes of your child self. Finding the playfulness, the wonder, the curiosity that is in that younger self. And whether you're sitting or standing, move around like that child. Imagine what that child would be doing right now and do some of those motions, whether it be bouncing a ball or drawing or playing with a friend. Just imagine your body, yourself moving like that child. And now I invite you to imagine as that child self, you can bring your awareness to your project or challenge. And with childlike curiosity and wonder, explore what this challenge is. Any impressions, any thoughts, any ways to be creative with it. Playing with this idea of being the child, go ahead and take out your journal, your piece of paper, and write any ideas, any thoughts, any impressions, or even draw. Now, take a deep breath in and release. And now I want you to bring to mind one of the personas that's on your list. When you have it in mind of which persona, I invite you to imagine there in front of you you see yourself as that persona. Noticing first the clothes and the colors, the posture, any other details that you can imagine 
about this persona. And as you watch, allow your own body to begin to take on that sensation of being that other persona. Beginning to move like that other and imagining you are doing that same activity for the next few moments of clock time equal to all the time you need. Imagine yourself moving and being this other persona doing those activities. You can imagine or you can actually stand up and move around. Whatever you choose, I'll watch the time. feel yourself fully connected to this persona, I invite you to once again write down your experiences, And write down your thoughts and feelings about the project and the challenge. And again, you can write or draw. I'll watch the time. Coming back to my voice and back to your breath as you breathe in and out. Taking another deep breath in and following that breath into your body. Feeling your fingers and your toes, stretching just a little, and when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes and coming back. So welcome back. I had you just do a couple of um, personas there, your inner child and then um, one, another one of your own choice. But if you wrote the list, you probably noticed a lot of different personas, you know, the personalities that you, you play with. And so getting to know these different personalities and to play with them can really open up new ways to look at things and, and uh, expand your potentials. My teacher um, uh, used to laugh because she's a, an amazing writer. She's written over 30 books. And she doesn't like to write. She tells us how much she does not like to write. 
but she loves to cook. And so instead of calling on that inner writer when she's time for her to write, she actually calls on the cook and she mixes, she writes the books like she's mixing ingredients and playing. And, um, and that's how she can um, write more often and write, write more successfully. So learning how to play with these different um, resources you have inside of you. One of the things we just did in this exercise was actually to imagine and then feel like we're in the body of that other personality. Body holds, as you probably know, the body holds so much memory and information. And so sometimes when you can actually walk a certain way or move a certain way, you can open up to certain information that you have inside or certain perspectives and ways of being. So it's interesting to take a look at that list and then imagine, for example, if you have a writer on the list as one of your personas, imagine sitting at a typewriter or with a pen in your hand and writing and just begin to get into that personality by motions, by your body. And then when you feel like you're, you're in that personality, get up and stand, stand up and walk around as that personality. Sometimes it's maybe just where you put your hands as you walk. But when you can shift out of your dominant personality into some of these others just by moving in, in your body in a different way. And once you have it, then bring up whatever's in front of you that you're trying to solve, whatever project you're looking at. So there's many ways to play with this. Um, you can also look at different outfits and clothes you wear, um, certain colors or, or cuts or styles will uh, bring forward a different personality. Um, and, and start making notes about this. Like what, what um, different times of the day you might have different personalities that are dominant. And to get to know yourself in Elephantina's book, Elephantina was my guest last week. In her book, she has a lot of conversations and exercises about observing yourself, observing yourself and not judging, just taking note and getting to know these different personalities. So um, after our break, I have another journey that I'd like to do with you. This is more of a meditation journey, and we're going to go in another way of looking at personalities, inner personalities. So stay with us. A real conscious connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Ohm Times Magazine's flagship radio show, What is Going Om? My passion is sifting through information, research and innovations from new thought teachers, speakers and researchers pushing back the boundaries of what we know about life, energy, metaphysics and the universe. I love shifting perceptions about who we are, why we're here and how quickly impossible becomes normal when we open our minds, expand our awareness and accept that the only limits that exist are those we place upon ourselves. So if you're the kind of forward-thinking, eager investigator of what lies beyond the current reality that most perceive, why not make a date to come play with me in the field of possibilities at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time every Thursday, and together we can discover what's really going on. There is no greater mystery in life than you. So why not take a fully experiential plunge into the depths of your being to uncover and retrieve all the secrets and wisdom your soul is crying out for you to know. If you enjoy Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation, you'll love Adventures in Consciousness, The Course. Join Jennifer in this unique 13-week series of journeys specifically designed to unlock the mysteries of yourself. Each week, you'll journey progressively deeper into the meta realm where, freed from the limitations of your mind, you'll get to play and explore the inner and outer reaches of your awareness. The next series of Adventures in Consciousness, the course, is starting soon. Find out more and stake your place at jenniferivanko.com. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Thank you. 
She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly Lights out. Good night. and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back. You're listening to uh, Adventures in Consciousness, The Conversation. And today we're exploring inner personalities and doing some uh, practices, some meditation journeys to explore more of this inner crew that we have inside of us and how to connect with that. I'd like to um, mention that this, this is all comes from the human potential um, realm, that, that we work with different parts of ourselves to access more potentials. Um, when I, in my work, I look at the physical realm, the world around us, and what can we access from, you know, using different parts of our physical, physicality. Then we also have the psychological realm, and that's the realm of these inner personalities and memory and thought and, and how our mind works. Um, then we have the spiritual realm, and we also have the mythic realm, our story itself. So these are just different categories or dimensions of self that I would like to work with in human potential. So again, when we're looking at the psychological realm, we can look at this uh, individual thoughts and, and our memories and our personalities. And then there's also this collective that we can tap into that has thoughts and memories. Um, and this will make more sense after this next exercise I'm going to share with you. But the idea is that we have within us um, this ability to connect with so much more when we start really observing ourselves and stepping out of the norm. Because sometimes we get so much into that um, habit and, and patterns that we just repeat things. And we want to really become more and more human. And by being human, it's meaning you have the choice and the will and the desire to do things. You're not just doing things like a robot, like in pattern and, and um, reflex. So to be present and to discover more about ourselves. Um, you'll notice also in all of these exercises that we do, all these meditations I do with you, I always have breath involved. We start with prana breathing. Prana breathing is a way to become very present into the moment, to step out of that automated um, activity that we find ourselves in all the time. And we all do it. Nobody's immune to uh, stepping into habits and patterns. But if you remember to occasionally take a few deep breaths, during that breath, you are present and you can make a choice. You can then decide to do something a little differently or have a different perspective. And the other thing I want to mention before we go into our meditation, um, this is not something that just uh, fringe people or, or people that are spiritual do these exercises about getting to know your personalities. I like to, the story about um, Winston Churchill that I've heard that when he was getting ready to solve a, a problem or to give a big speech, he would actually get up and he would dance around and maybe speak his um, speech or his thoughts as he moved and danced. And that was just another personality he had, if you look at it from our perspective here, that he would move and come up with solutions and ideas. So some of these high creative or successful people use these same techniques. So with that, let's go ahead and go on the next journey. You're going to need your um, journal again. And uh, this is a little bit more of a meditation journey. So enjoy. So before we begin, I invite you now to consider a project or a challenge you are facing, something you are working on right now in your life. And when you have it, I'd like you to consider a symbol or an object that can represent this project. It can be anything. Something that is meaningful for you that represents this project or challenge that you are facing. When you have it, draw or write this symbol or object at the top of your page on your journal.
let's begin. With your eyes closed, let's bring your awareness to your breath. As you breathe in and out. Deepening your breath just a little. Noticing your chest rise and fall with each breath. And now let's do those deep prana breaths. Breathing in through your nose. Hold out through your mouth, hold, and continue like this. Each breath in, imagine breathing in a light blue color, a sky blue energy. And as you breathe out, imagine breathing out tension and stress, as if you're breathing out the color gray, filling your body with that prana. Each breath in, a gentle wave of that energy. And each breath out, Going a little deeper, a little more into that peace and stillness. Relaxing now even more. Knowing the more you relax, the more energy you receive. Continuing this breathing just a little longer, in through your nose, pausing, out through your mouth, and relaxing as much as possible. Knowing as you do this prana breathing, you are accumulating energy in your body. And this energy is like water. And this water This energy rushes through every part of your body. In your blood, in your bones, in your spinal cord. And if there are any blockages, this energy, this water that you've accumulated from all the prana breathing that you are doing will act like a cleanser, like water that pushes away debris, clearing all the blockages so that energy that you've accumulated by immersing yourself in this field 
and by doing this prana breathing will heal and restore every part of your body. Now, release your breath. Allow yourself to slip into a gentle resting rhythm as we begin our journey. First, I would like you to imagine that symbol, that object. Imagine that you are holding it in your hands now. And we're going to begin this journey in a very particular way. I want you to imagine that you have a great lined pad of paper in front of you. And there is also a pen. A pen that has very dark ink. And on the top of the first line of this paper, on the far left, imagine writing your first name. Next to it, write inward. And on the next line, write your first name. And next to that, Write inward. And on the next line, write your first name. And next to that, write inward. And on the next line, write your first name. And next to that, write inward. And on the next line, write your first name. And next to that, write inward. And next to that, write deeper. And on the next line, write your first name. Next to that, write deeper. And on the next line, write your first name. And next to that, write deeper. And on the next line, write your first name. And next to that, write deeper. And on the facing page, you see the whole page. The lines are dissolving. And the page is becoming translucent. In fact, it is growing and growing. And it is translucent. It is like a translucent mirror. You find yourself now standing in front of a beautiful, shiny mirror. that is also a doorway. A doorway that is the entrance to the psychological realm, the world of individual and collective memory and emotion. It is also the realm of your personal history, your own story, perhaps your soul's story. You move closer to the mirror now, and at first it seems rather ordinary, but then the reflection begins to dissolve, and you see images of yourself at different ages. 
as a baby. A child. A teenager. Your present age. And even much older than you are now. The mirror clouds and becomes clear again. And now you can see yourself in other times throughout history. Perhaps even in other body forms. An Eskimo next to an igloo. An African woman carrying a large jug of water on her head. A Japanese samurai warrior. An Egyptian priestess in a linen shift with a black wig. A Bedouin in a hooded cloak, face muffled against the desert sand. Keep looking in the mirror to see what figures emerge for you now. Now make your way through the doorway and find yourself entering a place where the crew of yourself awaits. All of those personas and all of time await to enrich your symbol, your object, the one that you are holding now. Entering now into this psychological realm where you have access to memories, to dreams, to reflections, and to this extraordinary crew with the talents and skills to support you for your project, your purpose, your work. Take your symbol, your object here into this psychological realm and see what happens, what unfolds for this symbol of your project. And then once you see it, or know it, or feel it, write or draw on your journal. I'm going to give you a few moments of clock time equal to all the time you need to have this experience. I'll watch the time. Coming back to my voice, it's time to leave the psychological realm. 
carrying your symbol within you and with you and remembering that the knowledge and insights available in this realm are available to you anytime. But for now, moving back through that mirrored doorway, bringing your awareness back to your breath, following your breath back into your body, moving your fingers and your toes, stretching just a little and when you're ready, opening your eyes and coming back. So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this. I wanted to mention um, a lot of the work I do in human potential is with through these meditation journeys. And we call them journeys because they are much more than just a guided meditation. That's if you want them to be. Because we um, step into that imagination and we imagine um, all these different sensations from visual to sensory. Um, and when you imagine and you accept the fantasy for a little bit, you can step beyond the imagination into that place of the imaginal. Imaginal is that place where these possibilities open up and these potentials get nourished and fueled and, and we get to move beyond our, our current um, level of being and, and into some of these greater capacities. So it's very important to, to be playful and curious and have wonder and imagination and then to dream about the possible. So when we look at something like this within a personalities and we look at um, potentials, personalities, and even make those leaps into um, other times, other bodies, we can access things within us that are coded inside of us, whether we are um, aware of them or not. And then when we carry a symbol, an object that we imagine, and we, we uh, can either see it or feel it or sense it, when we carry that in with us in these journeys, it's like a um, seeded object. It becomes seeded with these potentials and these ideas and this creativity. And so then later when you uh, see your, your objects out in nature or out in, on signs, billboards, synchronicities, you might see the object and there'll be some meaning to you. Or you might just want to draw the object or write about the object or the symbol. And things will come to the surface um, that are new inspirations and new ways to look at the projects or whatever you're dealing with right now. Um, there's so much that you can you can play with in, in these um, human potential, in the realm of human potential, and ways to access our greater potentials. And I hope you will continue joining me for these shows because we give you a taste of different levels of yourself, different dimensions. But if you want some more, you can go to my website, jenniferivanko.com. And I have a lot of um, free journeys, meditations, as well as a new series called Manifesting Mondays. And on Manifesting Mondays, it's um, we get together once a week, every Monday, for about an hour, and we take these different journeys. And I think it's important right now, um, in the world we're in right now, to give time to bring in new inspirations, new ways of seeing and doing, and give time to nourish your, um, your dreams and your desires, because we spend so much time being bombarded with things that maybe we don't want in our life, but they're all around us. So it's time to really spend time with yourself and what you can bring into the world through your own creativity. So that's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. And again, if you want to get in touch with me, you can reach me at jennifer at jenniferivanko.com or visit my website. Until next week, namaste.